Hey guys and welcome to our channel and in today's video I will show you how to add a cart share button into your WooCommerce cart page. Plugins for WP. WordPress premium plugins and themes for an affordable price. Alright, so we have this WooCommerce store and let's add one item to the cart. And that's the cart and we would like to add a share button so people can share the cart with their family members, friends or even we as store owners can share the cart with our customers. So we can do that by adding a plugin. Let's go to the back end of our WordPress website and we will need to upload a plugin. So you will need to download the plugin whether from the official website for full price or from us and I will leave you both links in the description box down below. Once you downloaded it, just drag it in order to upload it and then click on activate. Once activated, out of the box, it will automatically add a share button to your cart. So let's refresh the cart page and we can see the share button was added over here. We can click on it and it will give us some options to share the cart in a few different ways, in a few different platforms. For now, let's just click on the copy link. We'll go to an incognito window because we are not connected to the website and we'll see that the cart retrieve with a the same product that we shared it with which is great so we can as business owner send this one to our customers and they can perform the checkout themselves now if we would like to style the button and change the appearance we can go to the plugin settings page and here under the appearance tab we can change anything and everything related to this button for example we can change the button background color we can also change the pop-up background color just for an example, I will change it to dark blue and you can change many other things. Just scroll down, click on save changes and we can retest the plugin, make sure the button change accordingly and we can see that it did. That's great. There are many other options that I recommend you to check and go through. For example, one of them is the location of the button. Right now it's to the right of the coupon code. However, you can change the location to the button and position it somewhere else for example before or after the total table so again there are many options for you to customize and change and adapt the plugin and the button behavior based on your needs one more thing that i would like to show you once you activate the plugin it will add save cart tab into the my account page now that's great because if they added products to the cart and they can't check out now they can come back to it later and you won't lose the sale However, if you would like to remove the tab from the My Account page, just go to the My Account tab and delete the text here inside the tab name. Save the changes. And it will be removed from the Accounts page. The error is still there because the tab is active. Once we'll click on a different tab, you won't see the error or the tab name. Alright guys, so thank you very much for watching this video. Please let me know if you have any questions regarding the process or how to set this plugin up by leaving a comment down below. Please also like the video, share it with your friends and subscribe to our channel because there are more great videos on the way. I will see you all in the next video.